You know, I really thought that going to sleep last night would help me calm down. After what I saw. Oh, it didn't. It didn't. Now, as an NXT fan, I will always call out WWE on their bullshit when it comes to ruining NXT, you guys. Now, recently, we had the, his uh, the issues with Keith Lee. But Keith Lee has told us, be patient. He'll get the music sorted. He's already kind of gotten the, uh, the, the trunk sorted. So we're getting there slowly. And he beat Randy Orton. And he does a whistle in under 10 minutes. It's, it's I mean, that, that's better than most guys got in their first couple of weeks on the roster. So, oh, I'll. I'll give WWE the benefit of the doubt, and I'll be patient with Keith Lee. But last night was a special NXT, because it was on last night. Because today is Wednesday. It should be on tonight, but because of the NBA, it's not. Like how AEW had moved a couple of weeks ago, NXT moved this week, and they're actually on Tuesday again next week. So, the main event was the big four-man 60-minute Iron Man match for the vacant NXT championship between Cole Gargano, Champa, and Balor. Or, Balor, as, uh, as Regal put it. And if you've not seen it, it's just, I'm confused. I really wish they wouldn't have done this. Like, I don't know if this is a botch. I don't know if they meant, if they meant to do this, this is awful. If this was a botch, I really hope this was some sort of botch. I really hope this was a botch and they didn't. And they were just like, they were like, oh, shit. It's. We, that didn't go as it should have. Uh, let's book on the fly here. Let's make a match for next week. And the title is still vacant. One problem, one problem. Um, normally, in a, before, there, there have been instances in before including in the very first Iron Man match, WrestleMania, yeah, between Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, when that match was a, was tied at the end of the match, match, they went into overtime. Now, Could they not have said Kit and just have Cole and Garg and uh, and uh, Balor? I almost said Gargano. Cole and Balor just have a one on one overtime round. The next guy to score fall year one would be the champion. And don't tell me, oh, they couldn't go any more because they they used up all their time. NXT is WWE's own property. They could have put this on the network. They could have given NXT even more time. They could give NXT 24 hours if they fucking wanted to. And you know how I know they could give NXT more time? Because they fucking did!
So those, for those of you who, don't, who didn't see what happened, here's what happened. Finn Balor just scored a pinfall, right? There was a couple seconds left, and then boom, out of, freaking out of nowhere, like a Randy Orton, an RKO. Here comes Adam Cole with the knee to the back of the head, the pound on Sunrise. Boom, right to the back of the head. He's trying to get Finn Balor over her. But, like, Finn Balor apparently now weighs 600 pounds because he can't get him over for some reason. And, 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 but he eventually gets him over her. A couple of seconds left. One, two, three. And then the time runs. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. No, 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 no. And then William Regal comes out and says, we're going to have a match next week between Balor and Cole. And I'm like, why? Why, 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 why? Do it now. Do it now. Of course, if if you've all seen it, NXT title, they actually get a new owner here. The new champion is actually a uh, YouTuber, Brian Zane from Wrestling With Regret. I don't know who made that. I don't know who changed that. I really don't. I don't know why they changed it to, to Brian. But, I mean. Anything would have been better than what happened last night. A fucking tie. And you, I, I really hope this was a fuck up, but I feel like it wasn't. I feel like they did this intentionally. What should have happened was, is Valor, or, or should have, uh, Co or Cola should have, Gotten Balor over. He should have gotten the one. He should have gotten the two. But the timer should have expired. First. And he would have been like, no, no way. No. One more second. And like, William Wig will come out and say, okay, he, he, um, clearly you, who could have easily, he got in a fall there if you had a little more time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a championship match next week against Finn Balor. If you want to make Finn Balor versus Adam Cole, you can make Finn Balor versus Adam Cole. You don't have to fucking make a shitty finish to a 60-minute four-man Iron Man match. If this happened in AEW, I would be calling it out. So I have very, I have no excuse but to call it out in NXT. This is utter shit. I don't know who booked this, but they should be ashamed of themselves. This fucking sucked. This sucked to the highest degree. I don't care if next week's match between Cole and Balor her, is a, a 10 star classic, the greatest match that ever happened. It should be Finn Balor defending the NXT Championship against Adam Cole. It shouldn't be that the title is still vacant. Hmm. Oh, so stupid. I really, really want to know. Who the hell booked this? Even if it were Triple H, I would say, Triple H, what are you doing? Hing, hing, hing. You've had some good ones, but this, this is, this is one of the worst booking decisions I have ever seen in my life. And I've been a wrestling fan for over 20 years. I've seen some bad booking decisions, but this might just take the fucking kick. So, no overtime, no special overtime, no nothing. You just make another match. Is it any wonder 
people are choosing when the two are up against each other. More often than not, is it any wonder people are choosing to watch AEW? That would make me want to watch AEW full-time and stop watching NXT. So whatever you were trying to accomplish, you tr you accomplished the fucking opposite. You probably he sent more people to aid you. Who? Who's? Who's next broadcast? I would be shocked if AEW's ratings don't go slightly up or even drastically up. This was complete and utter garbage. It, and whoever her her book did should look at themselves in the mirror and say, okay, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. But, I mean, there's nothing can be done about it now unless they make a special oh, thing on the network where they have Fowler and Cole fight it out now. We'll be waiting until next week for a conclusion that should have happened last night. It should have happened last night. If you wanted to set it up, you could have. I just told you how you could have. But you chose... Those... I don't know if you can call this a dusty finish. If this is a dusty finish, I think even Dusty Rhodes would be ashamed of this if he were alive. He would be like, oh my goodness, that it. I can't even look, it's awful. That's a terrible Dusty Rhodes impression, but you get the point. Even he wouldn't like this. He would like, look at this and like think, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? I don't know if the people who booked NXT last night were drunk, but there must be something wrong with them. Maybe they're hanging out with Matt Riddle. Maybe they're hanging out with him. And bro, put down the weed and start booking the show oh, properly eh, so it makes sense. Hmm. Or sooner or later, you will indeed lose all your viewers to AEW. Ooh. And if last night is the best you can do, oh, this innovative first time ever for her person. Iron Man match. That's the best you can offer. Her? Like I said, is it any wonder people are choosing to watch AEW instead of NXT?